Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my first video of 2023. Happy New Year to you all. And this is a very symbolic blank slate. It is 2023, it's the 2nd of January today. I'm recording this on Monday the 2nd of January. I'm hoping to get this up so you see it tomorrow, so you should be seeing this on Tuesday. At least I think it's Monday, but it's that bit, it's been that weird thing, isn't it, when nobody knows what day it is because of bank holidays and whatever. Got on the scales this morning. I have decided where to keep the scales now, so if you were with me for the, I can't even call it a calorie crush, the tail end of last year when I was, I don't know, calorie consuming rather than calorie crushing, calorie yomping at the rate of knots, you will have heard me say that the new vinyl on the kitchen floor, because it's a padded vinyl, was affecting the way the scales worked. If I put them in one spot they said one thing, if I moved them three inches left they said something completely different. So I found a new spot for the scales, which is kind of out by the back door. That's a much firmer floor. It's on a concrete base floor. And it means I have to have the downstairs loo door open so there's some light because there's no light in that bit. But I've made it work anyway. And I can have the... that If the downstairs loo door is open, then nobody can come in the back door by mistake by and surprise me while I'm standing on the scales because they'd bash that door first. I've got on the scales this morning and that measurement, that weigh-in, is my starting point. As I said to you, uh, towards the end of 2022 I've decided not to keep resting on my laurels of previous weight loss I've decided not to keep on talking about well I, I started at this and I've lost this much we're having a new start point so the most I will say is I have lost some weight previously and I have regained some of that weight far more of it than I'm happy with and for those of you who have been with me in the past you'll be able to see the difference in the numbers when, when we put the numbers up in a minute but this measurement from today this weight from today this is my starting point I've got my blank weight loss journey board. These are not sponsored. People always ask me where I got them from. So there is always a link in the descriptions box to the Etsy listing where I bought this from. It's a lovely lady on Etsy I bought it from. And for those of you who are new, who may be joining me afresh in 2023 to do this, it comes with these little counters. So each of the stars is a stone. And we've never did quite decide what these were. We call them balloons or bobbles. Each of those is a pound. We work our way along the board and then when we've lost a stone, we put a stone marker up. And it's a lovely little thing. I really like it. I found it very, very helpful along the way. So I always link it in the description box and that's where you can find it. So let's go and look at what happened when I got on the scales this morning. Okay, excuse the washing machine in the background. It is Monday, the 2nd of January. It is time for a fresh start. Excuse the hole in the wall, by the way, the house is falling apart. Uh, <laughs> I've decided, this is my kitchen. You've seen my kitchen before, there's the oven there. I've decided to weigh in this spot. This is the firmest piece of floor. So this bit here, padded lino, as I've discussed before, um, affects the reading I get off the scales. This piece is the firmest bit of floor. So I'm gonna put my scales in this bit. This is my downstairs loop. And I'm gonna line them up with this square every morning, so this is the edge of the tile. I'm gonna line them up there, not every morning, sorry, every time I weigh. And that's the firmest piece of floor. I've also decided that I'm going to weigh in my blue nighty every Monday. Don't know how we'll work that if it's in the wash, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Because I'm right by the back door, so if anybody comes in, I'd be standing there nude or whatever. So that solves the problem of being nude. I don't want to weigh in the garden, I just don't, it's middle of winter. Okay, so, Calibrate the scales. I'm also going to weigh holding my phone, which I've previously I've kept putting my phone down and picking it back up, and that's just awkward. 299.8. I always round up, that's 300 pounds. So that is my starting weight for the new year. 299.8. As I said in that clip, I always round up 300 pounds. That's quite a nice, neat starting point. It's not as nice as 280 would have been. <laughs> 280 would have been 20 stone so for those of you who who can't do the conversion very quickly 300 pounds is 21 stone six 21 stone six which for those of you who are interested is about two stone away from where i was at my lowest point so that is mildly distressing mildly frustrating but we're not living in the past are we we're not living in the past we're work walking forward we're living Living in the moment, I'm, I'm, I'm getting all my meta all my metaphors are coming in at once and getting tangled up together. I've got a traffic jam of metaphors going on. Anyway, we're not looking at what things were. We're looking at what things are, and what things are is three hundred pounds. 
And oh boy, can I feel the bit that's gone back on. It's, I, I did say in my last video of 2022 that it's gone back on in different places and it's very odd and it feels, I don't like it, I don't like it at all. I don't, it's weird, I didn't mind the shape I was before, I just didn't enjoy how I felt. Now I don't like the shape I am now that some of it's gone on and off. Excuse the white stripe, by the way, that's due to be done in the next couple of days. <laughs> I've let it all go over Christmas, as you can tell by the £300 weigh in. I have had an enjoyable Christmas. The worst worst offender I think has probably been chocolate. I didn't buy an awful lot of cakes and things. I was given a Christmas cake and as I'm the only person in the house who likes it I have eaten more Christmas cake than I intended to because I deliberately didn't buy one. <laughs> deliberately didn't buy one so I wouldn't eat it and then was given one. Uh, but I haven't, I didn't buy a lot of pastry based items because pastry is another one of my weaknesses so I didn't buy an awful lot of buffet sausage rolls and things like that which has helped. I made Christmas dinner leftover pasties but I only got one of those Anthony wolfed those down they went down a storm and I made a Christmas leftover pie but I used mashed potato for that so I've avoided the pastry which is one of my downfalls at this time of year but I haven't avoided the chocolate. The chocolate has been more more more, more chocolate than I would normally eat because although I do like chocolate I've eaten stuff that I wouldn't particularly be normally interested in. I think I felt like I'm having a fresh start in January, so what the heck. So here it is. Here's the fresh start. I weigh 300 pounds. I am hopefully, fingers crossed, please God let it click this time, back on it as from today. I don't want a repeat of 2022 weight loss wise because I lost nothing in 2022 really. I probably lost in the whole of 22 two stone which I have now regained so I don't want a repeat of that 2022 is it is a write-off the year has been a waste <laughs> don't want a repeat of that let's let's do better let's do better and be better and all of those other current buzzwords I know some of you have also taken Christmas and New Year off and are rejoining me for the new festive season I'm considering a Facebook group just for those of us who are prodding on together. If you think that you might be interested in that, let me know in the comments below. I wouldn't be using it to put any content in that you guys wouldn't see here anyway, but a lot of you in the comments um, say that you're trying as well, so I thought maybe a support group might be helpful, but if, if, if you're not, if not interested, let me know. It wouldn't be a case of if you don't join the Facebook group, there'll be things you won't know. That's not um, that's not where we're going with that at all. I just thought some people might like somewhere to, to check in. But speaking of Facebook groups, you know that I use the NutriCheck app to track my calories. I'm not sponsored by them in any way. I just think it's the best app out there and Kaza if you pop over to Kaza channel which I'll try and remember to link below she has a discount code for NutriCheck so you could pop over there and use that if you wanted to there is also a NutriCheck support group and that's really really good really really useful so if some of you are looking for a support group with calorie counting that might be a useful one I think it's I think it's called NutriCheck support UK or something like that shall I find it shall I give you the information that you actually need rather than telling you it's out there and not telling you how to find it Bear with, bear with, bear with. NutriCheck Support Calorie Counting. It's a good group if you want support with your NutriCheck app. That's it. That's me done. It is the 2nd of January 2023. I weigh £300. Off we go. Take care. Bye for now.